you hear me now? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I need this, but I can guarantee one thing, Rich won't need it. <laughs> I uh, want to certainly welcome uh, and thank all of the steelworkers for coming out here today on this beautiful day uh, to spend some time with us and our new uh, elected uh, president for the national AFL-CIO. I want to thank all the political folks for coming out. Uh, we have uh, Pat Lowry from Congressman Ryan's office. Uh, we've got uh, State uh, Senator uh, Bob Hagan here. We've got David DeCristofero, our Trumbull County engineer here. And we got uh, John Wilkes from uh, Caprica Farrell, State Senator Caprica Farrell's office. And I hope I didn't miss anybody. Marty and Marty Moore, she's a councilwoman out of Warren. <laughs> Representing the uh, mayor. <laughs> Councilman at large, Dan Krause. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, we've got, uh, we don't have a whole lot of time. We're running a little bit late here. But, uh, been, uh, it's been a great, we had a great program up in Cleveland, and uh, we're going to have a nice little uh, get-together here, and then we're moving on to the uh, Labor Museum in, in Youngstown. I want to introduce uh, a guy that uh, I've had a chance to work for for probably about uh, about two years now, and uh, he does a great job uh, for the labor movement, and that's Bill Patisak. Let's give him a warm welcome. He's the president of the Mahoney County, Trumbull County, and CIO. This is really a great turnout. This is a lot more than we expected. Uh, and thanks for coming out on such a beautiful day. Uh, we just came off of our national AFL-CIO convention, and I was just so impressed with uh, Rich and his team and, and the plan that they have. And while we were there, we got, you know, they said, hey, Rich would like to come and talk to the workers over here at Severstall, meet with them, see what's going on, and, and hear right from the people what the problems are over here. And, and we're just amazed. The convention ended yesterday, and a day later, he's over here in Warren meeting with workers. Uh, that's the kind of guy he is, and we're excited about the future and what he's, how he's going to lead us and the changes that he has in mind. Uh, but right now, I get the honor of introducing uh, our state president of the AFL-CIO in Ohio, Joe Regola. Joe has been an inspiration to so many of us around the state. Joe spent last year walking from closed plant to closed plant all across Ohio, hundreds and hundreds of miles to show you know what what was happening in this country to manufacturing. So please give a warm uh, uh, welcome to the state president, Joe Regola. Well, good afternoon, sisters and brothers. First of all, I, I want to thank all of you for coming out here today to greet Rich and to help us all begin a new day for the American labor movement in this country. I say this, sisters and brothers, I came up here last fall to begin my 313-mile walk around the state. This was the place where I began, in the Mahoning Valley. And I came here to start that walk because no part of America better symbolizes the need for change in the direction of this country than the Mahoning Valley. And I know this much. Coming out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, sisters and brothers, the American labor movement is back in the hands of a fighting mine worker, Richard Trumka. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Too much hopelessness, too much greed, too much indifference, too much divisiveness, too much ignorance, too much intolerance. They've all had their day. Their day is done, sisters and brothers, because there's a new voice for American labor rising across this country. And with Rich Trumka's voice rising in every corner of America, he's going to raise right along with it the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of working families all over America. And the middle class and workers are going to come back to where they belong, the American labor movement. Sisters and brothers, the president of the National AFL-CIO, Richard L. Trumka. Woo! 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 Well, first of all, let me also thank you for coming out today. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day for workers to start saying, we're tired of what's been happening. We deserve better. We're not going to take it anymore. We're ready to fight back, right? Yeah! Win! First of all, let me tell you that 
I have a, a real connection with Youngstown. Uh, the mine that my grandfathers worked in, the mine that my dad and his two brother worked in, and the mine that I worked in was an old Youngstown sheet and tube mine. In 1988, Jones and Lachlan took over and Likes took over Youngstown Sheet and Tube. 1988, they closed that <coughs> mine. That mine had 20 years of coal left in it. And I will never remember, never forget what they said. The CEO said that closing that mine allowed him to rid the warts of the company that, that had grown on his company. Now he called my mother and dad a wart, if you will. We're not warts. Nope. We're what make companies. And without us, they can't run. That's right. We're going to show them in the future. Plants like this right here belong to be running. People should be walking in and out of them every day. They should be making products that we send all over the whole world instead of having them send their products here. And we're going to make that happen. New trade laws, new tax laws, all of us fighting together. And it starts when? It starts today. today. Not one day later. Today it starts. Yeah! Today. Woo! Now we came to listen, and I wish I could talk to every one of you. I wish I could hear your stories. But overall, we know what's happening out there. Every 30 seconds, somebody declares bankruptcy in this country because of medical costs. They can't keep up. It's time we had medical care for everybody in this country, right. and not just the rich. That's right. For 30 years. For 30 years, our wages have been stagnant. People have lost hope and expectations. 30 years. It's time that those wages started turning around. That we start earning a little bit more. That's what's going to start happening in this country. I need your help. First, we're going to pass health care reform. Right yep. And then we're going to pass the Employee Free Choice Act. Yeah! Yeah! that has ruined this economy with their ideas for the last 30 years. Don't get control of the country again. We're going to do financial reform that puts them back in their place and allows the real economy, people in places to make things, to take a precedent in a prominent place in America today. That all starts. President Obama's on board with all of that. It's up to us, each and every one of us, the demand not to ask anymore, but to man, demand that we build an economy that works for every last one of us out here so that we can open up plants like this and hundreds and hundreds of other ones all around this country. Workers here deserve better than what we're getting. Our country can do better than what we're doing. And I promise you together, we are going to create an economy that works for everyone so that all of us get to stand in the winter circle every once in a while. God bless you. Keep on fighting. You're going to see a lot of us because we're going to be around making sure that we fight to get plants like this open and more plants in the country to become open. God bless you. Woo!